area continues to grow west, there's always a need to make sure the roads can handle increased traffic. The city of Omaha and Sarpy County are working together on a project that would widen Harrison Street from around, from around 160th to 144th. Today, residents got an idea on what construction will look like once it begins this spring. Reporter John Kipper has more. John? Yeah, Maya, phase one of the project was finished up last year. And tonight, residents were told what to expect for the rest of it. Because Gerald Johnson has lived near Harrison Street for about 26 years, and since he moved to the neighborhood, there's been talk of widening Harrison. As that goal looks closer to reality, he was one of the dozens that came out to hear about the next steps and a voice of concerns. Well, I'd like to see the traffic flow smoothly. I'd like to see a lot of the stop and go traffic stop. Then safety is my biggest thing. Once the weather turns around in April, phase two of the project will begin. That'll widen Harrison from 150th to around 153rd, where phase one stopped. Then sometime around July, they'll be on to phase three, widening the road east to 146th Street to complete the project. A lot of the benefits that we're seeing from the construction overall are already starting to take place. And now we're gonna work back to the east and connect the dots between 156th in Harrison and 144th in Harrison. Many in attendance seem pleased with the plans to continue to widen the road. Ron Suki is worried about eliminating a left turn on 154th and Harrison. He says residents will now have to go around Nyhart Elementary when they want to get east to the interstate. They may have solved the problem of alleviating the traffic on Harrison Street, but there's a bigger problem of the safety of the kids. There's nothing but traffic going in and out of there right around the school zone. A project principal, Michael Pernicky, says if there is issues with the school, they can make changes after construction. They'll work with Miller Public Schools and take a look at things. If things aren't working quite correctly, they'll coordinate with each other and make sure that they try to address stuff to the best of their ability after the construction is done. And now the goal is to have the entire project wrapped up by the end of October. Of course, assuming the weather cooperates. In the studio, John Kipper, Free News Now.